We will double the civil rights division and direct law enforcement to counter this extremism. We will hold social media platforms accountable for the hate infiltrating their platforms because they have a responsibility to help fight against this threat to our democracy. And if you profit off of hate, if you act as a megaphone for misinformation or cyber warfare, if you don't police your platforms, we are going to hold you accountable as a community. Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah, thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people. Welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? Man, so did you hear that Vladimir Putin has endorsed one of our presidential candidates? And guess who it is? Yeah, yeah, Kamala Harris, yeah. It's been long since I've called um, any uh, leaders of uh, the U of Europe or the U.S., but we're not against uh, any type of context. Of, we're not limiting them. Yes, uh, sometimes we exchange some kind of information using different channels. First of all, through the foreign ministry. It's not for us to determine these are elections uh, of the U.S. people. I said that if we can name a favorite candidate, uh, it, uh, it was, it used to be Joe Biden, but now he is not participating uh, in the election campaign, and he recommended to all his allies to um, support uh, Ms. Harris, so that is what we are going to do. Yeah, that is some um, Olympic-level yeah. trolling. Very interesting that the headlines at these news outlets, they all say Putin jokingly endorsed Kamala. Hari har har. Putin came out today, he endorsed Kamala. And I didn't know, was I supposed to call him up and say, thank you very much, I appreciate it. But he endorsed Kamala. I have a feeling, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know exactly what to say about that. I don't know if I'm insulted or he did me a favor. Now, we all know if he had endorsed Trump, they'd have been running all over the place with it. They're already saying that Russia collusion is why Kamala lost the election. They're already prepping up. They're already prepping this up already. So get ready for that. The presidential election is two months from today, and the U.S. is now accusing Russia of extraordinary new efforts to spread disinformation and affect the outcome of said election. The Justice Department says it seized dozens of web domains and filed charges against two alleged Russian operatives. The attorney general outlined the threat. It's coming faster and faster. It's now AI fueled. Uh, they're now using bot farms in a way that was not possible before. And therefore, it's a bigger threat than it ever was before. Russian collusion part two. Speaking of Kamala, you know that she's an abortion queen. You know, when she was younger, allegedly, she probably had abortion. And she wanted every young lady to have abortion just like her, allegedly. You want to hear one of those creepy stories that she ever told? Let's take a listen. Line of tough, uh, trailblazing and phenomenal women. Uh, my grandmother uh, would go into villages in India um, and um, because she was Indian and lived in India, and she would go to the villages in India. Um, it was a famous story in our family. My grandfather would say she was going to be the end of his career. But my grandmother would go into the villages with a bullhorn, talking with the women about the need to have access to reproductive health care. Yeah. Her grandma 
in India is walking around with a blowhorn telling every young lady it's your right to have an abortion. In India, folks, the place where there's over what? 1.5 billion people? Your grandmother back in what, 1920s, was walking around with a blowhorn telling people, telling young ladies to abort children. Yeah, yeah, because that's your right. And that's one of our burning issues in America. We need to delete children. Now, again, like I said before, I was pro-life. I was a pro-life conservative. Ever since the DNC convention, ever since I've been seeing these weirdos with the blue hairs and the trans something, whatever they want to be called. Now you have convinced me that we do need to delete some of you people. Shut, cut your lineage off, especially if you're liberal. So yes, I am so pro-life. So that's the only thing I agree with Kamala Harris. Some of you don't need to be parents, but her story is far-fetched. Everything she says is a lie. Her and a running mate. Everything they say is an embellishment or stretching the truth or just a plain out lie. Anyway, that's your candidate. <laughs> if you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell Kamala I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you haters, get your ass off my lawn.